Hey guys, Nikki here. You. All right, guys, I have a question and answer video for you all today. But first, you have to hear from our sponsor. So I'll insert that clip right here. Hey, guys, Nikki here, your little auntie, the one that looks just act too young for her age. And I do have some clothes to show you guys. I am going to scroll the company name right here because it is very hard for me to pronounce. Um, I have showed you guys three pieces from them before. Some pajamas that I take every time I travel. Um, a purple satin shirt and a two-piece set that i wore to the circus um so they sent me over some more pieces to show you guys and i'm super excited these pieces are great quality and i absolutely love them so let's get into it. so what we have here is like the cutest it's like linen like short set oh my gosh you can close it and wear it like that but i just paired it with a black bodysuit and left it open it is shorts you can tie the string and I just think it's a very cute set. I would love this like in khaki or like that olive green. It is just too cute, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's like just throw on and go. It's like a really cute two-piece. All right, guys, so this next number is a skirt. I just kept it on with the top from that last piece. I love this skirt, guys. The color the fit the material oh my gosh let me pan down so you can see this is like the true color it fits absolutely amazing and everything i show you come in multiple colors so like if you don't like purple why wouldn't you like purple but you could get it in black you know different colors even with the short set i just showed you guys so i just tied the shirt up so you can get a better, better view of the skirt it's really really cute would it match these Oh, no, it's a little off. I am going to be too cute in this skirt. Okay? Okay, so I'm not going to step back so far with this piece. I would not pair it with this skirt. But it is just like a button up, but it's scrunch right here. This is like a linen material as well. You can get a little, you know, if you want to. I never button the buttons on these shirts. I like it like that. Um, The back does scrunch. So it's lots and lots of room. So yeah, that's all three pieces. So of course I will provide all links, discount codes, and everything below the video. Thank you, Eagle, for sponsoring this portion of my video. All right, now that you've heard from my sponsor, let's move into the video. Yeah, so we're going to get to these questions and answers. So these came from Instagram and some of them from up under the last question and answer I did. So what I did, it's a cute little feature in case you didn't know. You could create, hold on, I want y'all to see all my notes. You can create notes. Hold on, because I might not want y'all to, people might not want to know who they coming from, right? You can create notes in your phone and leave all the it's out there all in my notes so screenshot them and put them in your notes i don't like the way this camera is making me look i look washed out donna see i'm not used to doing tutorials and stuff anymore but we're just going to get straight to it i'm going to use some new products you know companies have been sending me some things so urban decay sent over these they sent over a lot of them they are the ink liners they sent like 10 of them i'm going to use the black one today which is zero and you guys know everything I use is going to be linked below. They always, always also sent over this Naked Mucho Happy mm -hmm. Palette. We're going to see what this talking about today. And then she in, or she Glam sent over these highlighters. They're liquid highlighters, but I don't too much do liquid highlighters because I apply highlighter on top of foundation. So I'm going to use it as an eye base today so you guys can see how pretty it is. So enough of the chat, let's get to the questions. And first things first, I'm gonna moisturize before I bring in lights and etc. And this is the Belief Moisturizer. I'm just gonna put this in my face, or on my face. Get the screwing ready. I'm gonna do all this. All right, and then next what I use, make sure, always make sure 
that your moisturizer and stuff is good in your skin before you start applying any other products, y'all. Because it's just like anything else is going to run all together. And it's not going to be pretty. I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Matte Primer. Sephora's having their VIB sale right now. You better say them coins. Okay. Say them coins. <laughs> and I don't even put this all over my face. I just put it where I get oily, which is my nose, my forehead. I don't know what it is about my nose or my forehead. Alright, so y'all ready to get into the questions? Child, sis don't even have a mirror. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. They can't replace my AC unit. That thing is so dang loud. It scared me every time it come on. Let's get to it. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to use. And so that way when I answer the questions, I can just go, go, go. This e.l.f. powder brush, a musk. Real Technique sponge or beauty blender. Even though beauty blender is the brand. And my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing while we answer this first question. So the first question is... Da, 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 da. It is big, y'all. I mean, it's low. Okay, the first question say, how are you doing, love? I'm here. <laughs> um, how do you keep up with... Oh, it's a lot of questions in one. So, how am I doing? Um, mentally, I'm okay. I'm about on the 6th today. My mentally has been very low ever since I have been sharing cards with Nicole because... <sighs> child, I don't ask so, her, girl, you need to rent a car. She won't. But she has a nine to five to get to and I don't. I did not know it was gonna be this long. It's been three weeks now. And so it's kind of messing with my mental a little bit. You get what I'm saying? But other than that, I'm fine. I just need to get out the house, honey. How do you keep up with all your events and more? So this is really crazy because I was just telling Pretty Bree this um, because with sponsorships, events, Shug has prom, birthday, uh, graduation coming up. It's just so much going on. You got to keep up with stuff. So I was showing you guys in a vlog. It was probably like three months ago. How, I need to get my nose hairs y'all. How um, I put bullets in my notes. So for example, I have one that say like expecting delivery and it has like everything I've ordered or everything that's coming from a company. And when it come, I just tap it off. There's another one say paid sponsorships and the amount that I get paid. I can't show y'all that, but it has the same format. Um, I just put it in my notes and do bullets. And when I've done the sponsorship or the packages came, I X'd it off. Same with events. I put them on the actual calendar that comes with your phone, guys. Utilize that. It has a alarm. Well, like if... You, you want a day before alert or an hour alert, you can. I'm going to put on one more coverage of it because this ain't it. It's kind of sheer. And so, um, yeah, you literally have to put everything in your phone and etc. When you have a real busy life, take notes. A lot of people like to do it on paper. It don't have to be on paper for me, guys. Um... I just need it in my phone with the reminders. So that's how I keep up with most of my stuff and it do very, very good for me because child, some of these companies be like, don't show it to this date or don't this. And then if you shop a lot like me, you need to remember what you ordering or it'll be two months down the line and you'll be like, oh, I never got that purse from Versace. Well, my, maybe not that drastic. If you forget a purse you bought from Versace, you balling too hard. But I never got those leggings I ordered from so-and-so. And then by then, it's too late to file a claim. So you need to keep up with all that. Just put some little, they have apps, but why pay for an app or download an app to your phone or something when notes already come on your phone? You know? So we're still on the same person. She's like, how do I balance my outside life? I literally plan all of my outside life and I have to for my mental because um, I'm in a, a marriage to where if I don't plan anything, we won't do anything. And it, it's just, that's just her nature. She's not a planner. Um, she don't know about stuff here. So I just really, honestly, I kind of like work during the week. And then my personal life is more weekend. That's how I balance that. 
So we're still on the same question. And always so positive about things. I hope the questions isn't too personal. Love you. The thing is, I'm always not positive, and it reflects a lot on camera. So I'm just gonna take this Kevin O'Quan stick. It's my color because my under eye circles have been really dark. So I need a little bit more coverage under here before I brighten. I'm. I actually feel like, honestly, moment of transparency. I'm very negative, and I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of hearing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I can only do, I can't do nothing but keep it real. Like, sometimes I'm editing and I'm like, oh, here you go again. But it's just like, I cannot help that. Like, every day something gets thrown my way. And so I rant a lot because I'm irritable. And being that I am going through postmenopause, I'm going to be irritable. Like, I'm not a spring chicken. I can't, he, he trips just like y'all do around this motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? I am old and I have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of health problems, a lot of personal problems. I'm grieving. I'm going to be irritable, but I'm kind of tired of being irritated too, y'all. So work with me on that and I got to figure it out because I'm tired of it myself, honestly. This is CoverGirl Queen. This is Caramel, I want to say. I love this concealer. Give it a try if you haven't. I'm just going to like put it under here. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm just like, I literally tell my best friend, Nicole, so Suge is the only one that can deal with me. Suge just be like, mama. Ain't got nobody her business. Everybody else be like, ooh, you, you're a firecracker today. Or, ooh, or I just ignore you. But it's like I cannot help it. Like, a lot of stuff irritate me because I just don't really understand why I be going on for one. Then I have no estrogen, no progesterone. Like, I am miserable over here sometimes, guys. But I need to learn how to stop coming on the camera with that because of the simple fact that, um... Everybody don't know me personal, and everybody don't know how to perceive that. So when I'm just having bad moments, just keep the camera out, chat. Just keep it out. <laughs> because sometimes I look back like, woo, I don't even want to deal with you. <laughs> Somebody got to do the job, though. Here's the thing, sis. I don't want y'all to see all my BDBs and stuff over here, but y'all just got to see them because I got to make sure. Oh, actually, I don't because I'm putting on a bang wig. <laughs> but I'm just blending this concealer out with my Real Technique sponge. And see if it's going to give me the coverage I need because I ain't been sleeping, honey. That's another thing. How can I be happy go bouncing off the wall and I don't even sleep at night? I'm tired. <laughs> okay, y'all, enough of that. Let's get to something happy, hopefully. So, great video. I have a question to ask you. Might get emotional, but if you... Girl, my, I'm already from the crowd. I ain't even read the question. But if you had the chance to have your mom and son back, what would you say to them? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, let me go and answer this while I'm bleeding in this concealer because I need to go back over it. Look at that coverage. It look real, real bright. Y'all see, y'all see. Okay, so um, my mom. First, what I would say to my mom is I'm sorry because of my mom, when I was coming up, it's kind of like me and should situation. My mom was always sick. She had breast cancer, then she had bone cancer. And so, I didn't understand the complex of that. Like, I was, cancer wasn't as, ugh, like it is now. And so, it was a lot of times, like, my mom would ask me to do stuff. I would have that teenage attitude. It, it was a lot of times, um, it, just stuff like that, um. So I would just apologize because now that I'm older, and this is what I be trying to get across to Suge, I understand why my mama act like that. I didn't get it back then. I was like, everybody else mama at the, at the program, everybody else mama came and my mama would be at home. My mama was in pain. She just didn't want to tell. Ugh. Okay, yeah, she just didn't want to tell us that. So, <sighs> I would just say I'm sorry because I, I understand now. But that was typical teenage stuff, guys. Like, as a teenager, you don't ever understand why your mama them acting like they acting until you get older. And I would just say, um, basically, that's it. Now, my son, that's too fresh, y'all. That's too fresh. I'm out of um, Fix Plus Mac. Fix Plus, but what I do is spray this. Come on, give me some. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then melt away all that powder. Uh, my son, 
I would just say to him that, um, what would I say to my son? I would just say to him, I hope he's at peace. I hope he's better. I hope it's, you know, we're going to switch over to this milk makeup spray, guys. I, I think this be breaking me out. That's why I don't want to use it, but we got to keep it pushing. I just need something to take the powder out of my face. I would just tell him that he was deeply loved and didn't have to turn to the streets. Like, I never understood that. Had all his parents, all his grandparents, should don't have any grandparents, but my dad. So, I would just say that you was deeply loved. Sorry, guys, my memory card became full. Um, but, yeah, I would just tell him, you know, you were highly loved. You had so much potential. Um, and, you know, it would be one of those kind of speeches. So... I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder powder and I just go in with a big fluffy. This is a Marc Jacobs brush. Just take a big fluffy brush because this brush is like $100. Remember at one time I had found y'all a dupe for it. Child, that was a long time ago. I wouldn't even know where to do that now. Probably on T Mushin or something. Uh, put this where I put the concealer. And then I'm gonna go in with my MAC. Fix, I mean, Mac Studio Fix. Nope, that's not what it's called. I have two. I have dark, but it's a little too light for me. So, I'm going to go in with dark tan. And do the perimeter of my faces. But let's talk about the next question, honey. What's going on in my phone? A lot. Okay, so let's go. This is another long one. Not sure if this is a touchy subject for you, so my apologies if it comes off offensive because I'm not trying to be. But how's your relationship with your dad? Woo, I just touched on this in a vlog. So if you didn't watch the vlog, um, I was saying that my thing with my dad is my dad has always been present in my life. It was four of us kids. I'm the baby girl, and it's three boys. My older brother is deceased. And so I have always been daddy's girl always it's no secret who my daddy favorite was i ain't even trying to be funny but my dad was very um he wasn't a good husband to my mama so my daddy wasn't at home it was always another woman it was always one of those type of situations but i still that was still my daddy so make a long story short um that's why i am like where i move he moved if he's sick, I'll take care of him. Because he never did nothing wrong in my eyes. It was a little simple stuff. Like, we never had food in our refrigerator. My mama literally went to the store every freaking day. So, it annoys me so much right now when it's not stuff in there for my dad to eat. He's like, I'm so hungry. I'm so... Because I be wanting to say, bro, we never had food in our refrigerator. But, anyway, this is my cover girl queen, Ebony Bronzer. Guys, um, you cannot get this anymore. So, just get a bronzer um, of your choice. While I look for a brush, I should have my brushes ready, but, oh, sorry, y'all. I should have my brushes ready, but, um, I'm just saying on a scale of 1 to 10, my daddy was probably a good dad. Uh, I would say a high 4. So, sometimes that's what makes it so hard about taking care of him because, bro, you wouldn't even be home with us. You was with Sally, Teresa, and everybody else now. But, sorry, I'm looking for a brush. I put this in my crease, and I'm going to bronze with it. So, the thing with my dad is, my dad is a ready body man. He drives, he go to church, he go out to eat, he do everything. And then, to his family, he play victim when stuff don't go his way. And it's just like, dude, I, I think it's a Pisces thing. I, I have either my close people are Pisces or Leos. And with all my Pisces, because Nicole is one, they act like, they act like <laughs> I'm the reason for all of their downfalls. But they also act like they can't live without me. So my dad example, using my dad for an example is, if my dad gets sick and go to the hospital, he'd be like, because I ain't eating. She buys shrimp and stuff, and I don't eat that. But my daddy got money. He got a car. You get what I'm saying? Um, same with Nicole. She'll be like, I'm not happy because Nikki won't this, this, this. 
I ain't stopping you. Ain't nobody making you stay at home. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's I'm always the problem, but I'm the solution. I can't be both. So that kind of wears off on me because my daddy, he's like manipulative with that. Like, he'll have family members calling me and saying stuff like, your daddy in there and can't get up. Why did you call them first and we in the same house? You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like a strain on me because I just feel like I get abused around her, honestly. But other than that, that's still my nigga. And he get on my nerves, but don't you try. Don't you try. I'm still baby girl that will get lit over. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that with him. It say, how do you navigate that? I just explained that I ignore it. Oh, I go off. Not go off in a disrespectful way because I don't believe in disrespecting your parents at all. The Bible said, no, ma'am, don't do that. But, um... I just, I don't really stressing me out, but I got to figure out a way. I was thinking like a senior center or something like that. Because, sir, you're just bored, and I'm not your woman. I can't entertain you and et cetera. That's not my job. Hold on. That's not my job, and I, I often have to tell him that I'm not my mama. He married my mama when he was 16. My mama was 19. I mean, he was 19. My mama was 16. Yes, my granny approved that. And so, they was really all they knew, and they was married. Each, they only knew each other and they was married 37 years before my mama passed away. So, I ain't her. <laughs> if it's chicken and rice in there, if you don't want it, make it some cereal. My mama will make a whole another dish to the side. I ain't my mama. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, this is still the same person. She said... I'm only asking because my dad is living with me temporarily and it's kind of rough. So I hope. Yeah, because let me tell you something. These elderly people get older and think you owe them something. Baby, first of all, you had me. Okay, let me stop playing. <laughs> no, for real. It's no point of bronzing my forehead and stuff. That's wasting makeup. I'm going to wear bangs. You had me. Baby, baby, let me tell you something. You had me. The end. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I got to do, but don't abuse me. It, it comes a point where it becomes abuse, honestly. So, okay. We're going to move into this from Shein. We're going to put it on our eyelid. These are new, and this packaging is adorable. I will link it below because this is too small. The color is Stardust, though. Let me show you how these do. I hope I got the right one because I want the one that's gold. They all look alike in a container, y'all. I'm going to just pop it on my eyelid, and it's going to turn like a bronzy gold. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Shit. It's really pretty. It's like a, you know, it's just going to be my base color. I'm not going to lie. I really want y'all to see how pretty this is, and the camera really isn't doing it any justice. So what I'm going to do is like put a swatch of it in here so you guys can see how beautiful this is. And let me see what setting I'm on. Okay, so because I look a little ghostly right now, don't I don't know why I look like this. It's pissing me off, really. Let's check the ISO, guys. Is that better? No. Okay, I put a swatch. So we're going to go in with spritzer in this palette. It's like a... um this bronze this rose gold like shade right here and we're just gonna put that on the eyelid oh gosh that's so pretty what brush is this i, I don't know child i'm surprised i even got brushes because who don't do eyeshadow no more it's me i'm using a blending brush though so it's you know it's gonna just apply on there so let's get to the next question I done lost track of them, y'all. They say, so, so hoping you have a pointer for us, auntie. Um, this older lady, older lady, older, older lady across the street from me told me that when you are dealing with family like that, menopause or anything like that, you need to find an activity you can do every day and just go off to yourself. Or you're going to go crazy. She said every day she would go Fishing. I ain't doing all that, but damn good advice. 
Because sometimes all you need is like a couple of minutes, an hour, a day away from the house to refresh. To power you for the rest of the week. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I would suggest to you. Just find you something to do, honey. Ooh, this so damn pretty. I'm going to adjust my lights and I'll be back, y'all. As you guys can see, my bronzer was my crease color. So, I'm just going to go back in with it and buff this so it's not any harsh edges. I love using my bronzer as a crease color. Works every freaking time. I think that's a little bit better, right or wrong. So, we're going to go in with this liner. Honestly, I am not the biggest fan of this liner. I think it's a little drying, and I think it skips a little bit. So, you have to keep putting the top back on it and doing that. But other than that, it'll get the job done. I already did one eye. Um, so, let's talk about the next question. I keep taking it off. What is your ultimate goal you have set for your life? That's a good question because, like, I'm an older YouTuber and YouTube money isn't, you know, promised for the rest of my life. I have really been thinking about that, honestly. I don't know if it's like menopause or what, um, but it has me thinking about, like, what will you do and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I have other income, a lot of it. But I Sorry, guys. I keep running out of memory. What I was saying is I do have other sources of income. But I feel like as long as YouTube is lucrative, I'm going to do it. I, I'm just going to change what I do. So, yeah, I can't do the stuff I used to do anymore because of my age. But I can start doing beauty over 50. Beauty over. As long as it's lucrative. Now, if it gets to the point to where I just feel like this is better than sex mascara. I'm just on here doing stuff. Then, of course... It's time for me to start reconsidering, but as long as people still watching and I'm still um, profiting from it, then I'll do it. Now, as far as other income, if you guys watch me, oh, I got to get my nose. Y'all know it runs. If you guys watch me, I do have other income. I have my house is on Airbnb, my other house, along with three other ones. One second. You guys went with me in a vlog one time to um <clears throat> to like find some newer properties. This is a white liner from LA Girl. I do have a whole show shapewear company that's still doing very, very good. Um, so that's another thing. And I have a lot of other stuff. I'm a secret partner with a lot of stuff. And invested in stuff as well so i'll be straight even if youtube don't work out and then i'm a hustler y'all straight from oak cliff texas i'm gonna make it work by any means necessary so have and we'll do it again so yeah if youtube don't work out or honestly to answer that question i honestly don't know i really feel like i am at that age now so i need to sit down and come up with a plan because, child, because, honey, your little auntie need a plan. And <laughs> that's that we all do. <laughs> so, honey, let's move on to the next question, and we're going to blush. This is a black radiance blush. Um, toast and almond. Love it. With all the stuff that happened since you got sick, how do you really feel about it? Um, I feel like... The medical field. I got to be very careful how I choose my words on here. Because I know a lot of you guys are nurses and stuff. And I don't want to disrespect anybody. I don't have no time for nobody coming. For me in the comments. Because I said something wrong. But it's a joke. My brother lives in London. They don't pay for health care at all, right? They ain't never sick over there like that. Because when they go to the doctor... The doctor fix whatever the issue is, so they ain't got to keep coming back up in there. Here, our doctors get paid every time you come up in there. So I feel like they just bandage you up and so you can have a reason to keep coming back. I feel like a lot of my issues, if doctors would have ran full testing, etc. Sorry, you guys are going to hear this fan. Would have ran full testing stuff from the beginning. I would have never, ever, ever been as sick as I got. 
still to this day, I feel like they don't listen. Every time I go to the doctor, okay, let's try this pill, let's try this pill. What am I trying it for? Y'all know what's wrong with me? You get what I'm saying? I just feel like, um, I really feel like I still have a lot of issues going on. Of course, I work to make myself feel better because still to this day, no one has drastically did anything to just, I'm, now don't get me wrong, I am 65% better than I was when I got sick, honey. I'm not saying that. Y'all, this is a throwback. It's look, actually this is not what I want to wear. It's an Oprah one I want to wear, highlighter. It's like one of those Nikki tutorial ones. It's called Everglow, it has three parts. So I swerve the really bronzy shade with this one. I don't too much use this lighter shade. So I just feel like I wasn't hurt. I feel like I would be better if I was hurt from the beginning. And so I feel like it has created a whole bunch of issues, kind of like COVID. Like, yeah, people who had COVID, they're better now. This looks like the eyeshadow. <laughs> they're better now but they still have some people still have complications and it's to the point now to where I'm so tired of trying stuff that I don't and it's dangerous Nicole would be like I bought you this you didn't even try it I'm like imagine like for the last three years everybody been like take this you'll be better and you get worse because you get side effects or it didn't work so it's to the point to where I just be like I'm not taking it and then I, I think like what if that's what I need though so it's like a constant battle going back and forth so that's why i feel like it's better to like just start eating right and etc so you'll know what your body responds to but i'm i'm okay i'm gonna use this charlotte tilbury spray guys y'all hear my phone going off like crazy just basically wet your face And then I take this fan. I link it. I got it from the beauty supply, but it's on Amazon. And let that go. Let me turn it up. My next question is very complex. I have been dodging this question for months. I because I did one of them. What happened to you and and child? Um, but I'm gonna answer it, but I'm not gonna answer it. I <laughs> this is Miss Creative Diva MCD Luxury. It's her brow pencil. Can I do this and talk? I'm not doing a major brow because they're not going to show. So people are always like, what happened with you and Peyton? And this is what I want y'all to understand. Ain't nothing happened with us. Listen, YouTube is like work, right? So when you, you get a new job or whatever, you see this a lot on everybody's channel. You'll see them hanging with this YouTuber. You'll see them hanging with that YouTuber. Then they don't anymore. That just simply, that don't mean that they beefing. Everybody just don't have to hang around all day for one. We don't have to hang around. <laughs> this is not a job where we have to do group projects and stuff. And then also, you might just feel like... I'm trying to find the nicest way to say this without it sounding dramatic. And I cannot do this and talk clearly. I just messed up my brow. Um, everybody is not beefing because they don't talk anymore. It's just that everybody is not meant, don't um, mesh together off camera. So if it's not about YouTube or whatever, they're not going to be spending every day together. It's that simple. Peyton has a very strong personality. She's a very lovable person. Has awesome content. Beautiful and all that. But I don't have to hang with her every day, y'all. And if something did happen between us, I would never discuss it. Because it's it wouldn't be nothing that serious for me to discuss. I kind of bounced around it and it probably was unclear. But I've in my YouTube history, boy, everybody done been on this channel. And it's just certain people y'all always ask about over and over. So it's kind of annoying. <laughs> so it's kind of, so it's kind of like, huh? Like y'all trying to start something. But I understand because I 
don't understand because we was only in one video together. It ain't like we was in each other video, every other video, and then we stopped. I, I don't get it. I still watch her. Still love her channel. We all love her channel. We just don't, don't hang. <laughs> Lips is more MCB, MCD luxury. Support my boo, y'all. Recently, she was scammed. One of y'all ho asses ordered a wig and then lied to my y'all never got it and the wig hadn't even been delivered yet. Or not y'all didn't get it. Y'all said that false advertisement or something. It wasn't what you thought it was and you hadn't even received it yet. The thing was still floating in the USPS system. This is support her to recover from that. This is her liner. This is her liquid lipstick and latte. And this is her... Liquid cream lip gloss and bear it all that I love. It's probably sold out because the last time I mentioned it, I was like, Y'all need to run and get it. So it's probably sold out, but that's what I'm gonna put on my lips. I, I always go to do something that's hard when it's time to answer a question. So, plat bread for life, one word. Thank you. How do you feel about that? Was from Ozarka Red, Ozark Red. Thank you. How, do you ever feel like you could use a break from being a YouTube influencer? Yeah, I take breaks all the time. Uh, all the time. Uh, but what do you mean as far as a break? I feel like this is what this is what gets me sometimes. People are quick to say that. Like when I come on camera frustrated and stuff, they'll be like, maybe your time is up with YouTube. Maybe you need a break. What you do at your 9 to 5 when you frustrated? You just go in there and quit? Huh? Or do you take a day off? Or do you still just go? Or do you take a mental leave? Like, dude, this is my job. <laughs> so when people just be like, just stop. Girl, okay, I got a million mouths I feed and people I take care of and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can't just stop. That's, that's not a smart business move, honey. So I take breaks all the time. I've took up to a year break before I heard before. The most I've took recently was probably like the two months or a month and a half when my son passed away. Other than that, yes, I feel like I need a break. But like I just said, it ain't that simple, y'all. This is latte. Stop throwing it in my face like it's a your time has come you're over with or no don't do that i would never i would never be watching a reel of yours or something where you're having a rough period of time in your life and be like you think it's your job just quit your job it may be your job beyonce told y'all to do that but i wouldn't you know so breaks are needed but you gotta dust yourself off and keep going so, I'm going with this gloss. Ooh, ooh. I love this. It look white, but when it get on your lip, it's just right. Do you hear me? <laughs> I need to be a freestyle. All right, y'all, off camera, I did apply my lashes. They come from MCD Luxury, too. This is the fluffy book, and I have on the next to the biggest one. They get bigger as they go down. So, all of this will be linked below, of course. So, let's do with another gorgeous wig. But this is one that I bought myself. It is a fang wig, but it's like this brown color. So, we're just going to put this on today. I honestly feel like this one ain't as sexy as my black one, but it'll get the job done. My removable veneers got to glow up. These will be linked below as well. So, I think I have three more questions, but what did I do with my phone? Love gorgeous hair, guys. I will link this wig below. It's not sponsored. So, where are my questions, y'all? Yeah. If you weren't with Nicole, do you think you would be with another woman or man? Golly, y'all wait till the end to make it spicy. Definitely. <laughs> Okay, if you've been watching me a long time, you will be able to answer this. Definitely a man, honey. Because I wasn't trying to be with no woman now. I don't consider myself gay. You guys think that's weird. But I'm just telling it like a T.I. is. This is a wax stick I'm about to use. I will link one below in the description. Hair products shoes. They will be on Amazon. 
honestly guys i tell you guys all the time i wasn't just going around or at the gay club looking for a woman and married a woman it's just our paths crossed we fell in love and boom we was married but i will i don't go out looking for women does that make sense so that's why it will be a man because I do miss some things about having a man. Like some things men are just gonna automatically, well, no, not all of them. I miss things like taking care of stuff around the house. Like this week, our lights broke in our closet and our washroom, our kitchen drawer broke, our air went out, and I was the one having to get all of that fixed. I don't feel like I would have to with a man. Um, it's just the little things like I don't get in my car wash. I don't feel like if I feel like if I had a man, I wouldn't have to wash my own car. You know, so that answers that. <laughs> and I, I kind of feel like I need to be led in my marriage. Now I do a lot of leading and it's stressful. I need for somebody to just be like, and a woman can do this. Don't get me wrong. I did all that eyeshadow and stuff. And y'all, let's pull it back a little bit. A woman can do all of this stuff I'm saying, but I just feel like it's some things that I put up with now that I probably wouldn't have to if I had a man. As some of you might say, or if you had a, a um, dominant woman. So, <laughs> that answers that. I'm going to get the D. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> So guys, this is our final look. I really did all the eyeshadow and stuff for nothing. That's why I love bang wigs because they're cheap wigs. When you don't want to do your eyebrows and all that, it covers all that. So I really did all that for nothing. <laughs> Alright guys, so yeah, like I said, did all that eyeshadow for nothing really. But um I, I don't even think this last one is a question. I think it's just like a comment and say, just sending love from my fellow Libra. I get how you think, been, in, been a subscriber for years. Libra gang. Yeah, they got a little hair relationship with us, but. Libra gang. <laughs> so that's all of the questions. That was a little different. I love my questions and answers because it typically don't get messy. It didn't this time either, like last time. Last time, baby, baby, I almost left that video depressed. Okay, so I'll consider more of these if you guys want them. Thank you guys for your questions. Thank you for being respective with your questions. Mm -mm, not respective. Respectful with your questions. And don't forget to check out those awesome clothes I showed you at the beginning of the video. Bye.